Anthony, we've been doing a thing on the show uh, called a Late Late Show and Tell, where we ask our guests if they'll share something with us from their home that we may otherwise never get to see. Do you have something you'd love to share with us tonight? All right, I pulled this off the shelf, man. No one has ever, like my friends who've been over have seen this, but no one has ever seen this. It's never been out of the case, okay? Wow. So, true story. I met a guy who I idolized as a kid. And I wanted to be this character my entire career. When they, they recently made a show about him, I told my, my manager, if I'm not cast as that character, I will never talk to you again. You'll be eating pork and beans um, in West Hollywood, right? I wasn't cast as that character. But... <laughs> <laughs> so I met this actor named Jimmy. And Jimmy Bullock wow. was the original Boba Fett. Oh, wow. I have an autographed helmet. You ready? Yeah. <gasps> oh, please be careful. That's incredible. Autographed helmet by Jimmy himself. Oh, wow. It's Boba Fett. Oh, Look at that. How oh, cool is that? I'm going to say that's right up there in the coolest show and tells we've done. Yes. <laughs> Which is a low bar, because most people go, oh, I've got a dog, and you're like, we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a big deal he for you. He signed it for me, dude. Look at that. He that, signed it for me. That is... I, that's a sensational show and tell. <laughs> thank you for sharing that, Anthony, and thank you for taking out the case for us. Reggie, do you have a question for our guest this evening? Yes. Tonight's question goes to... Uh, Mr. Mackey, okay. uh, <laughs> this is uh, two questions. Um, one, uh, have you ever checked out uh, Preservation Hall Jazz Band? And secondly, does the targeting system on that helmet work? <laughs> Very good. I've seen the Preservation Band in many incarnations, many different times. Sometimes I don't remember. Sometimes it was <laughs> early in the day, so I still remember. Uh -huh. um, but no, this is a, a mock-up of the actual helmet that was worn uh -huh. in the movie. It has all the dents and all the scrapes. But my motorcycle helmet, I got my makeup artist in, in uh, Cincinnati to paint it. I should go get it. Yeah, ah, yeah I get it. Next time, next oh, okay. time. I can't, can I go run and get it now? Sure. Yeah. Wait, I'll be right back. Everybody's waiting for the helmet. It's a helmet. It's a helmet. It's a really beautiful helmet. It's a helmet. It's a bike helmet. And we're waiting for him to show us the helmet that they did like Boba Fett. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Should we all leave the studio? <laughs> Should we all leave the studio so when he comes back, there's just no one all here? All right, dude. Oh. oh. Oh, I, I knew just, you were playing it. I just said, should we all leave the studio so when you come back, there's just no one here <laughs> and you have to throw the break? <laughs> all right, show bit. us this helmet. What have you got? So, my motorcycle helmet. Oh, no way. <laughs> yes, by my makeup artist. Sick. When I was doing Point Blank in Cincinnati, Ohio. Look at that. Uh, you can't beat that, dog. Damn. Reg doesn't even drive a bike. I guarantee he owns one of them within a week. <laughs> so, <laughs> Reg, does that answer the question? I, I, that's, like, overly answered, and I love it. It's correct. It's correct. <laughs> Please thank the wonderful Anthony Mackey, everybody.